In order to go ahead and finish up your chairs here, you are going to need a, to be able to use a clamp that can be turned into a stretcher bar. So you're going to be able to get these bars in here. You can see with this, we got about a good, probably inch and a half that we have to stretch this out in order to get it in. With this fabric, it's so tight, there's no way you're gonna get it in there by hand. So you need to buy a clamp like this that you can actually take and turn into a stretcher bar as well. You need to make sure the clamp you buy has this type of screw handle because that's what's gonna help you stretch it out wide. With this type of a clamp, it's as simple as taking it off the end, turning it around, so now it's going the opposite direction. With this, we still have the padded bar here. We're gonna take this off. Now we got the padding here as well. All right, since my chairs have a total of three retention bars, one at the bottom, one at the top, and one at the middle, I find the best way to work with it for me is I start with the top because I can secure it right here, which is close to the middle. I have a big long stretch here, so it's easy to get that one in. It doesn't interfere with the bottom since it bolts here. Then after I get that top one done, I move down here, I get the bottom attached, I get that retaining bar, and then after I got it secure at both the top and the bottom, now I can move to this middle one, so I undo the bolts here, so I can get my clamp inside and be able to work with it. And I start out with mine at the top. We want to put this as close to the top by these holes as possible. And we're going to stretch it out as far as we can push it out by hand. And once we get it there, now we just tighten down this handle. And by screwing this in, it's stretching out that space. So now we can take this, put it in there, and then just go ahead and release the screw to go ahead. And now we have that top piece in there. All right, with my chairs, now that I've gotten the top part done, now what I wanna do is I wanna get this bottom part attached to the chair like I have right here. Once I get that stretched out, then I can put this retaining bar in here, but this way I have the chair set in there and then I'll be able to undo that top part and finish up with the back. This next one is gonna be a little bit of uh, work here sometimes because it's the first stretch and it is kind of a little bit of a big stretch to get it over that hump is it takes some work and uh, you're going to have to really kind of figure out how to position the clamp the best way to work with your chairs but here's what I'm doing. And actually, I was able to go ahead and get it on there and not have to force it afterwards. So now that I've got it here, I'm gonna attach that bolt. Once I get the bolt attached, I'm gonna go ahead and work on putting the one that's really close right here. Okay, so this next one is the biggest challenge for me. It's the one near the bottom. You'll probably find it the hardest as well if you have one down here because they literally give you really about an inch to work with. And you have to get this into the hole, plus go ahead and get it stretched to get into the, into the hole up here. So while you're doing this, you really have to get good at sometimes using the full side of the uh, clamp. Sometimes you're just going to be using the bare minimum depending on what you're doing, where this bar is positioned is gonna limit you on how much 
uh, space you have as well, whether or not you're going to be using the handle on the inside or the outside. So I start out, put the uh, put it into the hole here first, and then once I get it into this bottom hole, set this off to the side, and then we're going to use just the very edge of the clamp 